I am dumbfounded, flabbergasted, blown away, just mind blown. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Did you know that Canva had a Windows version that you can download and use? In fact, it's right below this. Looks just like Canva, right? So if I click over here and I click over on home, you'll see that this looks just like Canva, but it's not on the internet, it's on my desktop. So my name is Socially Nina. If you're new to my channel, obviously you're gonna have some fun here, so make sure you subscribe and give me a little like if you like this video or if I teach you anything. Comment and let me know who you are, what you do. I would love to get to know you because I support coaches, consultants, and creatives in their journey to create a recognizable brand with content creation and video marketing. All right, so basically you just go to the link. You would really just Google, you know, Canva for Windows, but it is canva.com slash download slash Windows and I came in here, signed up with my little free account here. And it's everything that Canva is. I mean, it has everything. There's nothing that's lacking. The navigation is the same. I'm just gonna put an Instagram post here and you can go and find your templates. Now I do notice that the way the screens are laid out are a little bit different, but you know, it's on your desktop. So I'm just gonna select this one. The other thing that I noticed is as you're going through, let's go ahead and close this, right? Again, same things over here. You can have your folders, your integrations, which I have a video coming out about these really soon. So, you know, stay tuned, subscribe, all that mess. But anyways, um, the other thing that I noticed is as you're creating designs, so let's see. I have a suspicion of this. I actually didn't test it, yep. So as you're creating designs, this is more like Adobe Acrobat and things like that, where if you notice, each one has a tab. What I love about this is that you can go back and forth between many different um, designs. So one thing you'll notice is when an, uh, an application or a vendor releases a desktop version, sometimes as you go through it, you'll find little things on the desktop that you couldn't do online just because of the limitations of being online. So I'm not gonna make this a long video. I mean, there's not much to say, right? Um, if you don't know how to use Canva, or if you do and you've been using it for a while, there's always new tips and tricks to learn, obviously, because I had no idea this existed. And that, in fact, tell me below in the comments, have you been using this? Am I the only one in the dark? And I, am I like searching around for different features and stuff and everybody knows and now you guys are laughing at me like, girl, please, we've been known. Anyways, but if you're trying to explore Canva and learn something new, I do have a video um, all about how to use Canva Pro for beginners. It's very detailed. Even if you're an expert at Canva, I promise you'll learn something from that video. So make sure and head over and watch that. I will leave that in the corner at the top and I will also leave it in the description. Ciao for now.